and traders at UBA said the 13.5 billion naira treasury bills auction will boost investors sentiments at the fixed income market. Chuka Wachuku, head of ALM and balance sheet management at UBA joins me for market updates. Chuka, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Esther. Good afternoon. What can you tell us about this auction, uh, 13.5 billion? Uh, what are you what are market expectations? Well, I thank you very much. Uh, 13.5 billion, uh, I think, is for a very long time is the uh, smallest um, volume um, I've seen um, in auction. Um, so, what is expected is that uh, we expect the not the pattern which uh, um, CBN has uh, followed the, over the couple of the last uh, couple of uh, auction. Um, you know, we expect that same pattern, which is uh, they have oversold what uh, what had already been offered. Um, for example, the last auction. Uh, 104 billion was on offer, was offered, and then uh, well over 600 billion was sold. Um, so we expect to see the same pattern in uh, at this auction. Um, at the last auction, we saw about 50 basis, po I mean 100 um, basis point drop in rate from uh, 16, um, 1675 to 1575 on the longer end of the of, of, of the maturity. That's the one year. Um, so we expect to see a drastic drop in, in rate this time around as well. Um, we expect to see between 13.5 and 14 percent. Were you referring to the uh, DMO bond auction on Monday? No, no, no. I'm referring to the uh, NTB auction oh, right. today. Okay, um, I wanted so to. I, I can speak. I wanted to ask you. Uh, do you beg your pardon? The DMO bond auction on Monday, we did see yields uh, on all tenures dropping uh, substantially compared to the November auction. Just wanted to ask you if this is a sign that the naira interest rates have peaked and could uh, possibly fall further going forward. Yeah. Um, what happened at the auction that we saw about uh, between fifty? to 100 basis point drop in rate. Um, we also saw over subscription, uh, well over 800 billion uh, was um, subscribed and then uh, about 273 billion was sold. Um, so we've seen this pattern, um, you know, before now, um, you know, uh, towards the end of the year, we tend to see a lot of this um, drop in, in, in rate. Um, for example, last year, we saw well over um, uh, well over two to three hundred basis point drop in rate, and so it's been the pattern. Uh, however, it's also uh, uh, like just to answer your question, it's also um, a sign that um, investors, uh, you know, the system. First of all, it's also a sign that the system is highly liquid, and then of course uh, some of these uh, yield, you know, it's it, it makes sense to buy at this level because uh, going into the new year, we probably will see further drop in rate, and so this is also another sign that the investors are also um, happy with what's happening in the economy. Right. Uh, bring us up to speed on trading at the FX market today. So uh, we saw um, appreciation uh, over two hundred, about uh, quite a significant uh, amount of um, appreciation. Uh, Naira is currently trading uh, around the 864 levels. Uh, we expect to see this pattern, you know, you know, going into the end of the end, end of the week as well as the end of the year. So we've seen this uh, pattern, you know, over time, and then uh, this appreciation um, hopefully will continue as long as um, demand continue to. I mean, supply continue to dip, uh, to increase. I wanted to ask you if there's a pattern in the, the volumes that you've seen uh, since the beginning of the week. On the FX. Yes, on FX. Um, so what, what we've seen is that the demand is still there. However, we've seen increase in supply, um, you know, both from CBN uh, intervention as well as uh, other form of inflow. So that has actually, you know, tamed the uh, the demand, and that has what has um, brought um, a bit of um, uh, um, appreciation into the FS market. All right, right. Uh, today is Wednesday. What is your outlook for the rest of the week uh, for both the treasuries and bond market? So we um, let me start with the TBUs first. So today's uh, outcome of today's auction will determine the um, the direction for the TBUs. Uh, over over the past couple of days, we've seen bullish sentiment, especially uh, the one year. Um, so one year paper is currently trading around the around the 14 levels, and this was the one, um, one year that. Uh, Printed the last auction at uh, 15.75, so we will see this bullish sentiment continue largely because of the uh, system um, liquidity, and then of course um, um, 
traders trying to invest some of this excess liquidity. On the bond side, uh, we will see um, bullish sentiment, uh, especially on the on the bonds that we are um, we are the auction. Uh, the 2029, 2033, 30, 38, and then 2053. However, there's um, on the 2053 uh, actually is, um, is 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 where the interest is, and that's why we've seen yield drop uh, from uh, from uh, where it, it, it closed at the last auction uh, to about uh, about 70 to 80 basis points. So, we, uh, in in all, we tend, we expect to see bullish sentiment um, in in across the two markets. Many thanks for your time today, Chuka. Thank you for talking to us. Uh, Chuka Wachiko, head of ALM and balance sheet management at UBA.